Hello there guys, Bulimo10000 here, bringing you another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate discussion video, as today, we've got a few topics that came up this morning that I personally want to discuss. And how topical is it that I release a major video on Verge Ben yesterday, only for him to release another statement today that doubles down on the info he's got? And Koro Koro provided the ultimate leak, though really it was an official statement regarding the amount of stages in Ultimate. First, we'll start with the Verge Ben statement, and here's what he said as of today. The Gen 7 Pokemon that isn't Decidueye, Lycanroc, or obviously not Mimikyu, is Incineroar. I finally heard that it is Incineroar from all my main Smash sources, so there you have it. As for the roster, in the very least, Incineroar and Ken are left. I've had people tagging me non-stop for the last day or two about the box theory, so I will address that. I have been in contact with my sources about it, there's no confirmation as of this moment whether or not that will be it for the launch roster. I guess I might as well end by saying that if you think this game won't be supported after launch, well, that's not a smart assumption to make. The Square Enix character that I heard about is an interesting exception in all of this when it comes to the box theory, and my knowledge of there being a character of theirs comes from someone who's never had a habit of being wrong. Even if that really is all for launch, it's not the end. For the time being, it is a waiting game. They're going to contact me if they hear of any contradictions or information that can offer that confirms or denies the box theory. So finally, Vergeben has confirmed that Incineroar is the supposed Gen 7 rep that everyone's been talking about. And I think many of us have come to terms with the fact that he was potentially on the way. I can't say he's my first choice for a new Pokemon, but he's got his fans and he'll make people very happy, so all the more power to him. He's doubling down on Ken, which nobody is surprised by, and he states that he still believes in the Square Enix character, who I am personally speculating to be Geno for reasons I'll get into later. So if all of this information is true, then that kind of proves the box theory wrong. Now then, onto the news you've all been waiting for. Koro Koro released scans of their latest issue, which states that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will have a grand total of 108 stages, more than the 103 stages shown off at the last Direct. I've always been in the camp that we'd have more stages, so I'm glad to see that this information has been confirmed by a valid source. There are naysayers out there stating that Koro Koro might have just made a typo, and that it's still 103 stages, but in all honesty, do you guys really expect Koro Koro to fuck up the most important piece of Smash news on their article? They're already known for working with the Pokemon games to release new info, they have a working relationship with Nintendo, and they are a well-established and well-respected gaming magazine. All signs point towards this information being legit, and it feels like extreme nitpicking and straw grasping when people say that this official information is wrong. Quite frankly, I'm glad the 103 stage theory is dead, because it made speculating with people who believed in that theory extremely boring, as they would shrug off any requests for characters from unrepped franchises. So, with this information, we can gather that we'll be getting a nice five more stages in this game. As for what these stages could be, I have a few ideas. Firstly, I think we'll get a Monster Hunter stage based on the Ancestral Steppe, or Step, Steep, not sure how to say it, based around the boss arena where the players will fight the Rathalos. Dracula's boss arena was loosely based on the Dracula's Castle stage, so it makes sense that an actual stage might be in the works or hidden for the Ancestral Steppe. Steep, Step, Stoop. I don't think we'll be getting any more returning stages like Mute City Melee or anything of the sort. The main reason for this being that we had such a major focus on returning stages in the last Smash Direct, that it makes zero sense to not reveal any more returning stages then and there. Some make the claim that Mute City could still be hidden as the 3DS version of Mute City has a specified name, and perhaps Mute City Melee is tied to an Echo Fighter-like Black Shadow, but... 
In reality, none of the previous Echoes were used to advertise a stage. I doubt Black Shadow would be the exception. In all honesty, I think we're gonna have to give up on stages like Jungle Hijinks, Rainbow Road 3DS, and Mute City Melee. Tragic, because I really wanted Rainbow Road 3DS in the game. And we also have to keep in mind that new stages may not tie into a newcomer. Han and Bo, Picto Chat, they're prime examples of existing stages that don't tie to a specific character's franchise. So, if we assume that Monster Hunter will get a stage based on the boss arena from the August Direct, that leaves us with four stages left. And assuming the Verge Ben leaks are true, then we could potentially be seeing a stage for Incineroar or this elusive Square Enix rep. However, what makes me doubt Incineroar is getting a new stage with his inclusion is the fact that Isabel, Ridley, and K. Rool all did not get new stages with their inclusion either. It seems that returning franchises have had the focus shifted onto stages from their past, as opposed to potential new stages for the future. So, a potential Ultra Wormhole, Alola Pokemon League, or Aether Paradise stage for Generation 7 is probably off the cards, but I won't write it off just yet. As for the Square Enix rep, I think it's safe to assume it won't be a Final Fantasy character, just due to the fact that paying for a new stage would require new Final Fantasy music, and I don't see that happening given it's confirmed we've only got two Final Fantasy tracks in the game so far. As for other Square characters, my guesses would either be a character from Chrono Trigger or Geno, to tie into that Nintendo market. It's more likely than Lara Croft after all. Personally, I think it's Gino's time. His series music probably doesn't cost much to license, and he could come with a forest maze stage. That could easily take up one of the slots on the stage list perfectly, and fit in pretty well. It would also count as another Mario stage. So, with Ancestral Steppe and Forest Maze, that leaves us with three new stages in my little speculation bubble, so let's fill those in, shall we? This is my biased pick, but you all know I'm hoping for Isaac from Golden Sun to make it into the roster, so I could see a Golden Sun stage joining the lineup. My prediction would be Venus Lighthouse, as it's arguably the most iconic location in the franchise, as it's the final dungeon of the first game, and has one of the more dramatic moments when the lighthouse splits into four pieces, perfect for a smash stage. The Elemental Star Sanctum in Mount Aleph is also a possibility, as it's also one of the most iconic locations in the franchise, has rising moving platforms, and you could even include a variety of elemental attacks in the stage design. But I'd put my money on Venus Lighthouse myself. It works best with Isaac as a character, as he's a Venus adept. And if we were lucky enough to get a Felix Echo, then that would also work, because Felix is also a Venus adept. Now, here's a controversial pick for my fourth stage. I think we could see a Microsoft stage. Either a Minecraft stage to cash in on the hype of one of the biggest indie games of all time, or a Banjo-Kazooie stage, which I guess would be Spiral Mountain? This is because I have a feeling we could be getting a Microsoft character, and they wouldn't pass up the opportunity to add a stage alongside them. The Spiral Mountain stage, in my eyes, makes the most sense if Banjo is in, but I could see Minecraft getting a stage because of its sheer popularity and undeniable place in gaming history, not to mention Verge Ben has claimed multiple times that Minecraft is getting some form of representation, and he hasn't been wrong yet. As for the fifth potential stage, I'm actually not sure, so I think I'll just give this spot to Incineroar's potential Generation 7 stage, and I'm going to predict the Aether Paradise as his home stage, because we've already got two Pokemon Leagues, we really don't need a third. So here's my speculated stage list. 1. Ancestral Step. 2. Forest Maze. 3. Venus Lighthouse. 4. Spiral Mountain or Minecraft stage, but not both. 5. Aether Paradise. Chances are, I am dead wrong. I'm confident in Forest Maze, as I really believe Gino is coming, but everything else is pure speculation. We'll see as we get closer to the release date, but I'm just glad to hear that more stages are on the way. So anyway, what stages do you guys want to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? What kind of stage gimmicks would they have? Leave your ideas in the comments below. 
Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Hello there guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to my patrons, you can see their names down below, they help me out each and every month. They are so cool. If you want to become a patron yourself, there is a link to the right down that way. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.